Chicago, Illinois for an absolutely massive rivalry clash. We were here on day one of the series. I tell you what, this entire series has just been absolutely insane so far. The first one, obviously an 81 pitch shutout. The second one, there was a grand slam to a rookie for his first home run in his career. As a day, we're here for a potential sweep. I'm obviously talking about the Chicago Cubs going up against the St. Louis Cardinals. Now this game, like I said guys, is going to be absolutely massive. They are two quality teams in their division. They are two quality teams in the entire Major League Baseball right now. The Cardinals, however, they are the ones just sneaking out on top at the moment. They are 20 and 13 for the season so far. They were obviously 20 and uh, 2011 when they came into the series, but now the Cubs. Cubs won two straight, you know? Cubs won the first and the second game. Cubs are starting to claw their way back, and like I was saying, the Cubs are just behind them in second division with an 18 and 12 record. So if the Cubs can win today, they're going to bring it within a one win. Just one win, and this division is absolutely mental right now. In the first game of this series, it was an 81 pitch shutout to pitcher Kyle Hendricks for the Chicago Cubs. Absolutely phenomenal performance from the pitcher, and it was just an incredible game all round. Then yesterday for game number two, the Cardinals looked like they were on top in that one. They went out to an early 5-1 and one lead, but then when it came down to the later stages, when the Cubs were down 5-1, Taylor Davis, a rookie, a rookie who's never hit a home run before, came to the plate after the Cardinals intentionally walked to Schwarber, and bang, bang, son, bang, whammy, bammy, bang, son. Taylor Davis goes and hits a grand slam home run, ties the game, and then the bottom of the eight, Harvey Byers, obviously, kiss a damn good Byers, son. He hits a home run, and good night, Irene, good night, Cardinals, and that clinks the series for the Chicago Cubs. In today's game, though, it is two really good pitches. Montana for the Cubs, and Wayne Wright for the Cardinals. It's going to be an immense pitching battle today. This rivalry is so heated, guys. We've obviously gone over this already in previous vlogs. So you what, this rivalry is rated the third biggest rivalry in Major League Baseball behind obviously the Yankees and Red Sox and the Dodgers and Giants. These two teams absolutely hate each other with a passion and when you're in the bleachers where we sit, I prefer the bleachers so much better than over there. When you're in the bleachers and there's a mix of different fans, you can just feel the tension, you can feel the, the heated rivalry in it and the atmosphere is just always heated man. So I'm really looking forward to another game like that today. So instead of talking up here, we're going to go down there, let's go have some fun, let's go soak up the atmosphere, it's going to be that damn well passion baby. You know that that's the main thing that I want you guys to be focusing on live your passion don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something if you truly believe in what you have to offer in life you have a purpose then go out and smash it don't let anybody tell you you can't do something the world is not there and they're never going to help you that's why you need to go out and do it yourself man go out and do it yourself stop saying tomorrow and start saying today but let's go down there have some fun come on the cubbies <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. 
Contreras, Hayward, Bowie, Moore, Jr. and Quintana. Oh, 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 go Quintana! Quintana, 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 Quintana,
But I don't care. We got on base with a man on first and second with no outs. Let's go. <laughs> oh!
There's a fight over there. <laughs> yeah, top of the night, by the way, it's the last of them. Ah, it's so funny. Chat would finish him off. Finish him off. Yeah! One out, two to go, baby. Let's go! Swim, 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 swim. Catch that, catch that. Oh, no, that's a home run. Holy shit, that's a home run. Let's get him this time. Let's get him this time. Get in. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Bring it, go, Cubs, go. Go, Cubs, go. Hey, Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs are gonna win today. Go, Cubs, go. Go, Cubs, go. Hey, Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs are gonna win today. Go, Cubs, go. for today's video if you did like it please give me thumbs up so you know that you're enjoying this content absolutely phenomenal game out of all the games that i've been to and every single game i've been to like uh, that was just incredible the atmosphere was phenomenal the way that it was a division rival the way that it was the third biggest rivalry in the mlb and the way that there was an absolute grand slam and jammer by chris bryant that was unreal the atmosphere was just mental and honestly i feel privileged to have been here at wrigley field in the bleachers tonight that now puts the chicago cubs into first in the division they've jumped above the st louis Cardinals with that sweet Maruno. Get the broom. Someone get the broom. And also Marcelo Zuna. You're an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. The Cubs are definitely on a roll right now. They've won seven straight. A big home series now against Miami. And then a big, another division rivalry clash next week, later in the week, against the Milwaukee Brewers. It's going to be an absolutely massive time. Big ass man. So in saying that, if you're not a part of the BK Army yet, what are you damn well doing, son? Go and hit the subscribe button. We've been absolutely smashing baseball of late. So if you haven't hit the ding ling notification bell as well, then you should damn well go and do that because we've been smashing it, and I tell you what, we're about to keep smashing it. We actually are leaving Chicago in a couple of weeks time, we're heading back to Australia and Fiji for a bit before we come back to America at the end of the year. But I tell you what, it's been an absolutely phenomenal experience and I'm really privileged to have been able to live my passion. That is the main thing that I want you guys to focus on, guys. Live your passion. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. It's not easy, it is difficult. If you want to do what you want to do, then you have to work for it, man. I'm here every game filming myself in front of people who don't know what I'm doing, think I'm a weirdo, but do I look like I give a shit? No. I'm I'm walking here and I'm filming for my video because I love what I do, I live my passion and that's the main thing. So with that being said guys, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching, catch you later. See